Hi, this is Raina from thecheesethief.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. This was designed by K Crafts on Instagram. That's K.C.R.A.F.T.S. And this bracelet's called Racing Raindrops. So this is a two peg no hook tutorial. So let's get started. And this is just a side view of the bracelet. So you have, it's really cute. So this is the color that I'm going to use for the bracelet. It's the same color scheme. So you want to line up your bands in this order just to help with the tutorial. And I'm just going to use two pegs of my pencil loom, but you can use your finger loom, monster tail, or rainbow loom, anything that has two pegs. So first I'm going to start off with my white band. I'm going to put it on top in a figure eight, like so. And I'm just going to take a C-clip and clip it in the middle. Um, this just helps me when I pull the bands to show you the bracelet. It just helps it to organize the bands a little better. But you don't have to do this if you do not want to. Next, I'm going to take my purple band and put it up on top. And then I'm going to pull my white band on the left side up. And then pull my purple band back onto the left side. And do the same thing with this purple band on the right side. <coughs> Put it up on top. Take my white band, pull it up and over, and then pull my purple band back on to its peg. And this is the only step that you're going to do that looks like this. Um, the other steps, you can see the color bands are in a slightly different order. So now I'm going to take my left purple band and move it to my right side and then my white, right purple band and move it to my left side. So it is going to X like that. Now I'm going to take my pink band and put it up on top. And I'm going to take this purple band and pull it down. And then I'm going to take this purple band and pull it up and over. Now I'm going to take this pink band remove it to my right side. Now I'm going to take my white band, put it up on top, take this purple band, this left purple band, pull it up and over, and then pull my white band onto the left side, and I'm going to pull these two pink bands onto the left side. Actually, this one pink band onto the left side, and I'm going to pull up my two white bands. So this is what you should have. And I'm just going to pull up my two white bands like so. And then I'll move my pink band onto the left side. So I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Take my pink band, put it up on top, pull this purple band down, and then pull this purple band up and over like so. Take my pink band and move it to the left side. Take off my white band, put it up on top. Take this purple band, pull it up and over. And then pull the white band onto its pe own peg and then the top pink band. up and over, and then pull these two white bands up and over, like so. And then take this pink band and put it back onto its peg. And you're actually done with your first pattern there. So let's do that one more time, or a few more times, so you get the hang of it. So you're always going to start with your left band and you're going to pull it over to your right peg and you're going to take your right band and pull it over to your left peg like so to make a fig to make an x now I take your purple band put it up on top and then now we're going to take this pink band and pull it down and then take this pink band and pull it up and over Take this purple band, pull it onto the right side. Take your white band, put it up on top. 
and take your pink band and pull it up and over. Take your white band, pull it back onto its peg. Take your purple band and pull it, one, one purple band and pull it up onto the left side. And then pull up these two white bands and pull your purple band back onto the left side. Do the same thing again. Take your purple band, put it up on top. Take your pink band, pull it down and under, and pull this pink band up and over. Take your purple band and put it onto the left peg. Take a white band, put it up on top. Take your pink band, put it up and over. And then your white band goes onto the end zone peg. Purple band, just pull it up and over and pull these two white bands up on top. And then your purple band back onto its peg. And you're done with another pattern. So I'm gonna do that one more time, um, just because this pattern is a little has a little different technique. So you're always gonna take your left band and pull it onto your right side and then your right band onto your left side. And you always want to start with the left band so it crosses in the same order. So that's now you have your X. <coughs> Take your pink band, put it up on top, pull down this band and pull this band up. And then pull your pink band onto your right side. Take your white band Put it up on top, take your purple band and pull it up and over, and then pull your white band back onto its peg, and then your pink one side of your pink band up, and you're going to pull these two white bands up and over onto the pink, like so. Then pull your pink band onto this peg. Take your other pink band. Put it up on top, pull invert your purple bands and pull up this bottom purple band. Take your pink band and pull it to the left side. White band up on top. Pull up your purple band. Sorry, you pull up your purple band and pull your white band on it back onto this peg. Take your pink band and put it back onto that peg and then pull up these two white bands. And then you're done again with your pattern. Now if you were to end this bracelet, you would just add, do this one more time. So let's put this pink band onto this side and this pink band onto this side. So you still create that X shape. And then you're gonna take your purple band and then put it up on top. And this is to end the bracelet. So you're going to take this pink band and pull it up and over. And this white band. Put it up on top. White band up and over. So this is the same as what we're usually doing. There's just one little trick when we end it. Just to make it look consistent. Now you're going to pull this two white bands up and over. And then actually we're going to take this purple band and leave it here. So instead of putting another purple band on, we're using the same purple band because we are ending it and then we're inverting this. And then we're going to pull this up and over. Take your white band, put it up on top. Put your pink band on it. And then pull your white bands up and over. So you're basically ending it with one purple band instead of two purple bands. And then you take your purple bands, put up on one peg, grab your C clip or your S clip and clip it. And there you have your bracelet. So you do have to go through and just, just pull it a little to straighten it out. Um, I like to go through and arrange the bands. This bracelet is cool because Depending on how you arrange your bands, the bracelet can look completely different. So let me just show you two bracelets. So this is the bracelet that I just made. 
if you arrange it, you can make it closer, the petals closer together, or they can be farther apart. <laughs> so I made another one here. Let me see if I can find it. This is all multicolored. But this is the same bracelet. You see that the petals are like far apart from each other because I pulled them out this way. Like that. But you can pull them close in if you rearrange your bands. So if you just pull these white bands in, you can make the bracelet look completely different I think which is really cool about this bracelet so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials like this if you happen to make this design we would love to see it be sure to tag K crafter and myself the cheese thief on Instagram Thank you, have a great day, and remember to be kind to one another. Until next time, bye now.